Welcome to HD Designed Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, the designer of Granny Square Patterns for my tribe. I went from corporate lawyer being told what to do to full-time self-employed crochet designer doing what pleases my soul. Now, I also champion Yarny Creatives just like you to build income streams from your passion. Join me on my mission to change the world one crochet pattern at a time. Hey tribe, welcome back to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome. It's so good to have you here. And if you're returning, hey tribe, what's good? What's happening? I hope that you're all tickety-boo. I think I put too much of this on. Ugh. Yeah, a little bit. I am recording in my yarn room. I haven't put the studio lights on because it is a glorious sunshiny day outside. Um, and so I don't actually need the light on. I'm keeping it cool in here. <laughs> she says, wearing a big fluffy. I've not put the studio lights on, which is why you can see all the shadows behind me, but it's a gloriously sunshiny day outside. I've just ate, eaten, eaten. I've just sat and had my lunch outside, um, more in the shade to be honest, because Bump doesn't like to be too warm. Um, and it's just lovely and it's really breezy. So yeah, I'm in the yarn room. If you saw my previous vlog, the yarn room has had a glow up. I have reorganized it, transformed it. I just love it in here. I really, really do. It's, oh. There's so much creativity, productivity, and just enjoyment in this room right now. Today's another studio vlog. I am really enjoying these, so I hope that you are as well. I've been picking up my phone, which is what I record on, and just capturing snippets of what's going on and then putting that together so you can see my week. So I did a studio vlog that was um, more focused on the HGDC side of things, so crocheting, working on granny squares, um, a latest, my latest projects and patterns, um, editing vlogs, things like that. And then I did another one, which showed you this room transformation and our trip to Ikea. Um, and then this one, I'm starting today, it's Thursday the 21st of April. And this one is focusing a little bit more on the hub side. So if you're new here, HGDC is a self-named crochet brand. I'm a full-time self-employed crochet designer and HG Designs Crochet is where it all started. I created an Instagram page to share the things that I love to make, granny squares, pretty much granny squares, and it just grew from there. And I then ended up releasing my own patterns. I made a crochet jumper or sweater called Revival um, from there it just snowballed and I put out more and more patterns and within about, I think it was in, within like five months of my first pattern going out, I w decided to go full time as a crochet designer. And then when I did jump from the corporate world into crochet design, um, I wanted to find, I wanted to have a platform that I could put out information to help other people that want to do what I, what it is that I'm doing and have done. And so I created the hub. So the HD Designs Crochet Hub is the place for the new and aspiring crochet designer. And last April 2021, was it 2021? I released a workbook. That first workbook focused on how to size grade your pattern. So you have a design idea and then how do you make it so that people can make it from size extra small all the way up to 5XL and beyond if you wanted to. So I put all of that together and then I had all of these like huge plans and ideas and started working on the next products and the next resources to help people. And then I got struck with COVID in the July. And that morphed into long COVID. And then fast forward to September, started to feel a bit better, started getting out there in the world, doing things. And then very early October, found out that I was pregnant, um, which was 
a huge joy and yeah we were really made up about it however what we were unaware of is that I would also have a condition called hyperemesis and that's basically latin for extreme sickness and nausea and that kicked in real hard real heavy real fast and basically put me back to being bed bound from like October till about end of January when the medical profession stepped in and started to do something about it like in earnest and so then I'd say like end of February is when I started to get back to doing little bits and pieces for HDDC and the hub and in that time I found it really frustrating because I absolutely love my job and I love I don't really feel like it's work and I enjoy what what it is that I do and I've got so many plans I want to do so so much and to physically be unable to do it was really hard but it did give me quite a bit of time to obviously I had to step back and it gave me a lot of time to really get to grips with my plans and what it is that I wanted to do and where I was headed so I did quite a lot of um like brainstorming like a lot of mind dumps um quite a lot of reading once I started to get to that point YouTube research um a lot of product development basically which is good because had I not been forced to step back I might not have such a strong like idea and just path of exactly what it is that I'm going to do and that I am doing so yeah today I'm going to show you some of the products that I have started to make for the HDDC hub side of things now a lot of the resources that I am putting out there are aimed at the new brand new designer and a lot of the resources are what I wish was available when I first started out and it's like an amalgamation of all of the knowledge that I've amassed from doing different courses, learning, reading different things and all my own experience and I've put all of that together. So I've already put out a workbook on grading, I've already put out a workbook on how to launch your pattern, I've done like 95% of the workbook on finances and I've started a couple of physical products. So all my workbooks are digital downloads, which means wherever, wherever you are in the world, you just purchase it and it's a PDF. Um, I know some people have chosen to print them, but I've decided not to sell them as physically bound documents, just so that in the future when you get the updates, because you get a lifetime updates, um, you can just like refresh your copy or do whatever it is you choose to do. Plus they're quite heavy and so like your shipping would be a fair amount. And if you're in Australia, you'd probably get it cheaper to just purchase the PDF and print it in your own country. So, yeah, I wanted to go into physical products and I'm going to show you a little sneak peeks of it today. Um, I'm really tempted to just show you the whole thing, but like I made this, 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 this. But yeah, the I've made two items so far and I'm going to send them off for printing and then I'm working on the third one and all three are things that I already use in my day-to-day -day as a crochet designer so they support me in putting out patterns and getting stuff done and I very early on created a lot of resources that I would physically print out so for example um my daily planner I would print out the weekly plan and then I would print out the daily plan on A4 sheets of paper and then I'd fill them in so now I've just leveled that up and if enough of you like them I'm going to add these physical products to the HGDC shop so yeah a little catch up um I went for a midwife check yesterday everything was fine it's the sort of news we like to hear didn't have to stay in hospital or anything like that so that's great and I've just been laying really low to be honest um I've got really strong hay fever which I'm normally heavily medicated for but I can't have any of those prescriptions whilst pregnant um so you can probably really hear it in my voice and like sort of see it in my face that like hay fever is strong um so I'm just dealing with that dealing with that best I can and 
just being really really intentional with the energy levels that i've got i'm eight and a half months pregnant whoa <laughs> i'm eight and a half months pregnant and fatigue is normal in any pregnancy so um let alone one that's done what it's done to my body so i'm just being really intentional where i put my energy so i've really scaled back on socializing and i think i've really gone into nesting season spending a lot of time organizing the house cleaning getting things sorted that's why you've seen the last studio vlog we went to ikea and we got baby's cot and i've rearranged in here um the weather's so so nice like i think spring has officially kicked in and all of my seedlings have really sprouted um so i'm spending a lot more time in the garden just like watering things spending time out there and yeah just getting things done and just keeping myself to myself really and since since i rearranged the yarn room earlier this week just as soon as it was done everything just really slotted into place and i feel like now that it's clear in here and this room is tidy and just it's it's beautiful in here that it really gave me the headspace to focus on all of the product ideas that I've had and to just sit there and just actually get them done and um, without all of the distraction and just noise that this room was before so I dove in yesterday and created two products straight away um so the first thing that I've created is a mind dump page now, this is something that I really, really, really need because I am somebody who's forever scribbling down little notes. And um, normally this page, I will print on a an A4 piece of paper and I'll just have them hanging around. But I actually want them to be on notepads with like the rip sheet at the top. And then I can write out my notes. And when I'm done, I can either discard or file them away. It just depends what you choose to do. Um, so I've created that. I've gone full force with the HDDC branding, of course, like think pink, smiley, colourful, but I know that's not everybody's bag. So I've also done a black and white version as well. I'll show you the products that I'm creating and then I will talk about I'm um, I'll talk about their availability and when I'm gonna make them available. I've already got this in my basket and I'm going to have one of these printed for me to use because I use this day in day out. It's something that I'm going to put next to me when I'm in my like next to my bed so that I can just write down whatever it is that comes in my mind because sometimes ideas just jump out of my head and then I can't remember them later and it's so frustrating. Um, so I'm going to have one of those next to my bed and one of them in here so that when something comes, I can just jot it down and then tick it off when it's done. And then the other thing that I've done is my daily planner. Now, very early on, in as soon as I went full time, I created pages very similar to this. I've just updated the branding a little bit. Um and so i know how valuable these are and i would print monthly weekly and daily sheets and then i've got them in a ring binder i'll take some footage to show you okay so a quick look at some of the pages that i've made for myself um i've got these weekly ones that i print out um i'll show you this one because it's blank so it had like the months, um, where I could put my priorities, the week, a little bit for the weekend and my notes. And I would print all of these out and put them in my ring binder. And then I've got all of these pages on, I did like quarter three. I did all of the quarters. I did monthly reviews. Um, and then I've also got content calendars in here and then there was loads of pages like um everything for my content so my target audience just so much stuff has gone into here and then um loads of my notes honestly just so so much stuff and oh look takes me back these things do 
and yeah i've got like this whole entire ring binder the contents of this ring binder has now basically become the contents of all of the products that i'm creating so you've got my pattern planner as the first one and <laughs> i will show you like what these pages look like so this one is the how to use page um and then like the design pages and then i'll put them on screen now so you can see what they actually look like um now that i've done them properly in canva And um, without these plans, it just meant that my day would just sort of, I wouldn't get a lot done, let's put it that way. Because you're your own boss and you can pick what time you get up and what time you do stuff and you think, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Or, and it didn't always necessarily get done. So this day one is super, super, super important. And again, I've already got this in my basket and I'm going to have... Uh, one of these pads printed so I can start using it straight away and this is something I've tried and tested for like 18 months now on and off so I know that this works really really well um yeah so there's two things that I've made that I'm really happy with already so when they arrive I can do an unboxing vlog which is even cooler and then the other thing that I started creating is this it's called my pattern planner for the crochet designer and I'm a very very visual person so I knew that one of the biggest things to help me out with getting my patterns published and keeping me organized on track is that I wanted a planner specifically for patterns I wanted something that I could um, write out all of my design ideas you know when you get random ideas I could just scribble them in there to revisit at a later date and I wanted something to go a little bit more in depth so into the actual design and swatch details and somewhere where I could capture all of that information and put it all in one place and then I, as I'm working through my sample I could have all the notes in one place and then I could work on um I can have all the details of who's grading it or tech editing it and I can have all the details of all the testers and the feedback and then I can also plan the launch all within this one document and again I have been creating individual sheets printing them off and putting them in a file but it's time to just level everything up um, I'm very very visual so I've actually made a draft version which you can see here now the official one's going to be double sided so this is a looks chunky well there's going to be more pages than this anyway um and i've based the contents on my grading and launch workbooks now you don't need the workbooks to get this but if you've got the workbooks and this is going to be like it's going to help you just bring all of that together and really propel your patterns forward um because i keep finding that because i get distracted by things that patterns were being parked and it wasn't necessarily coming back to them and i wasn't putting them out for testing and things like that so this has been designed to combat that and i'm gonna get them bound hard board cover wire bound as soon as this one's done, I'm going to ask a friend to proofread it and then I'm going to get one printed for myself and I'm going to try it out. Now, in terms of availability for these products, I'm in two minds. 
one part of me says put them out there because it's going to change everyone's life and the other part of me thinks do you really want items like these so yeah i'm going to post about them a bit more on social media i'm actually recording this ahead of my social media so because i've been recording so many vlogs i've actually got like a couple weeks worth already put out so by the time you see this by the time you watch this vlog i will have posted about these products on social media and we'll see what people say um but even if no one wants them i'm so glad i've took the time to make it for myself because it's really going to help me keep on track i want to release one pattern a month um from when i return from maternity leave which will be august sometime so this is really going to help me be organized especially with a little one to keep on top of as well um and i've created so far i've done 12 of the pages um i think there's about 30 pages so let me explain that a bit better i've created 12 of the pages there are 30 pages that are going to be duplicated so what i wanted within this planner was in to be able to put out one pattern per month for 12 months and have it all within one planner so i've created the core pages that you need to go from design idea all the way to post launch and it's it's bang on 30 pages it might change once i've mocked it up properly but so far 30 pages and they will then be duplicated 12 times so that you've got 12 different sets so january through to december you've got the space for each pattern <laughs> then there's also pages in here that are like standalone that don't need duplicating um so trackers checklists things like that so i've done 12 out of the 30 pages so far um and it's going to be printed double-sided it's going to be a5 so that's half of an a4 page and i've already gone and got quotes for how much it'd be to get 10 of them printed 25 of them printed and so on um and i think what i'll probably do is one find out how many people are interested and two probably then do it on pre-order so that i don't go and buy like a hundred of them but then maybe have 20 of them still sat here or something um and it only takes a few days for them to be printed so the turnaround can still be super quick so yeah i'm having loads of fun creating these and mocking them up um it's just nice to get some it's nice to be making progress and it's nice to be getting some joy out of what it is that i love doing which is helping people every single product that i am creating is designed with the new crochet designer in mind so i very much feel that i still fit that demographic even though this is what i do full time i'm not like one of the big players out there there's there's designers out there with a lot more patterns and a lot bigger following than me um however i have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and all of these products fill a gap that i've struggled with whilst creating hddc so i know it's going to change so many people's lives I've got loads and loads more product plans and a lot of them have been drafted out like I've got a lot of A4 sheets and I'm going to do this for a couple of others that I've got in mind um I'm super visual I don't know about you but love pen and paper and getting it all down that's why these products are just perfect and um I'm, go I'm going to keep quiet about the other products so when you see them you can be like excited shocked amazed and so no one beats me to it because they're my ideas <laughs> so i am going to get back on with this i will i'll have already have put in some footage of my screen of me scrolling so you can see the designs um and 
hopefully when the products arrive, I cannot wait to start using them. So let me know below, are you a physical planner person or do you prefer to do all your planning digitally? Um, and out of all these products, can you see a need for them in your life? Um, I'm so excited. I've always wanted like my own planners and stationery because I've just loved it my entire life long. And now I'm creating them for the crochet designer. Okay, I'm going to get on with the next few pages. <sighs> Otherwise, this isn't going to do itself, is it? And I'll speak to you in the next one. Take care, tribe. Bye.